everyone and welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are doing really well today I have a new review um, and this is an absolute new review uh, new product for me I understand it might not be a new one for you but it's for me um, and it's the Huda Beauty concealer this is the overachiever concealer um, now I got this online so I am not sure whether this color is going to be good for me or not whether it's going to suit me or not but that's what we want to test um, the color I got is marshmallow 2b um, yeah it's a high coverage creamy concealer um, they say it's creaseless they also say that you don't need a lot so we will see about that um, yeah so this comes in so this is 10 ml which is 0.34 fluid ounces which is not a lot I'll say that much okay um, and on the website um, they have said that it is their full coverage com full coverage creamy concealer armed with skincare actives and a cooling zamac tip um, I think that's the the steel tip they have the overachiever not only covers and conceals but also smooths the delicate skin around the eyes with every application oh they've got loads of different stuff here um it's developed for with tired eyes and long nights in mind the formula works to disguise the appearance of dark circles redness hyperpigmentation aid spots and discoloration with a beautiful luminous matte finish water resistant transfer free and should give you coverage all day long so those are lots of claims let's see if that is true so i will zoom you in um, now obviously I do have my eyeshadow done uh, and I've got my corrector which is this one under my eyes like always so I hope there's no fallout there shouldn't be but just in case so um, again I will do one side with um, my sponge and then one side with my finger so this is what the applicator looks like they called it a Zemat, Zemac applicator um, I think it's because it helps with like cooling and stuff so just I'm just going to add like a tiny bit here and yeah oh I think that is really I think that's too light for me oh but the the tip of this is so nice and cool and it's actually really nice on the on the eyes and then the same thing here. This technique that I am doing now, I actually saw in um, Robert Welsh's videos. You should really watch him, he's absolutely amazing. Uh, he's a UK makeup artist and he is just excellent. So I'm just using his technique. He does use his fingers, he doesn't use a sponge. He actually doesn't really like sponges. Um, <laughs> But I, um, but I do. It went on like a dream. Like it literally took me two seconds. Uh, now let's blend this in with my finger. Okay, I don't know why it's slightly patchy on this side. Maybe it wasn't made for fingers, but. Um, I think I just left it on for too long, so I think you maybe need to work really quickly with this. So I'm just adding some more on my finger, stabbing the back of my hand because this is quite full coverage. This looked, this this eye look much more covered than this one. Um, is that just me? I don't know. Um, let's zoom you in even further. So. This is what we are working with. This is the eye that I use the sponge with. And this is the one that I use my finger with. Um, I don't really see a difference so far. Um, I will obviously set this um, with my powder. So I'm just going to use my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in medium to set all of that. Um, I will say it's making my under eyes look quite dry. Um, you may not be able to pick that up on 
camera, but it is actually making my eyes look, my under eyes look slightly crepey. Yeah, can you see that? I'm not, I don't know. Just hope it doesn't settle into fine lines, otherwise that's going to be horrible. So, um, okay, so this is what we are working with. Um, I will do, um, yeah, so like always, um, I will do, I will wear this for the whole day and then at the end of the day, we will see how this held up. So I will see you guys then. Bye.